Welcome to opening day. Rockfish season is officially open and we're gonna head out into the bay and check out some of the anglers competing in the Boatyard Bar and Grill annual catch and release tournament. Come along for the ride with me, Tom Weaver. There it is, sunrise. Lines are all set, 13 lines in the water. We have not seen a fish yet. That video is very important. It is. Jackie boy! Here we go, we're gonna get a glimpse of this fish. Boatyard turning! How big is it, John? Oh yeah! Nice? Nice! Nice one! Oh, yeah. Nice one, bro! Oh, man. oh yeah! Oh, yeah. That's a fat fish! Hold that fatty up! Woo! Oh. I just had a hot tip that the bite is on at Bloody Point, so we're gonna go down there and try and see if we can catch some of the action. Captain Steve, how's your day going so far? Yeah, so you're looking at like you're trying to pick a winner, right? Gotta leave room for a winner, that's right. You got it. And I see you've got the ruler up, so you're gonna beat the ruler. That's the goal of the day, right? Absolutely, absolutely. And here we've got another boat out on the bay here. They've got about Looks like about 28 rods and the planer boards. We're hoping to see a hookup. They're in a good spot. We're right uh, to the west of uh, Poplar Island right now. We've got deep rods. They've picked a rod off the roof. They might have a bite. Looks like they have a fish on. Yeah, last night we managed to catch up with some of the anglers in the tournament today. And uh, we have Steve Linhard giving us his perspective on what he thinks is going to happen in today's tournament. Uh, you know, this is one of the best days to be on the bay, you know. It's everybody's excited, everybody's jammed up. They've got a whole winter to prepare. It's the first event to look forward to in the fishing season in Maryland, really. It's great. I'm going to 48 win. I need a 44 to win tomorrow. 44 to win. They were like in the Atlantic. Scott Allen, I'm on the angler management. I'm super excited for opening day. I've been waiting all winter for it. 
The winning fish is going to be 47 inches. It's going to be cut off a bloody point at 9.15 in the morning. And I'm going to catch it. Uh, my name's Steve Shangle from Boston. I am down here with friends, Pete and Scott, Scott Hay. Uh, the winning fish will be 47 and a half inches and our boat will catch it. I'm Mary Bame on Dirty Blonde Sport Fishing. I think 43 inches. I'm Joanna Holland and we are on Team Goose and I think it's going to be at least 45. At least. Could be bigger. <laughs> in the boat, Andy. Now this tournament is all made possible by Dick Franio, the owner of the Boatyard Bar and Grill, and he's been hosting it for 15 years now. So Dick, what do you think the impact of the Catch and Release tournament has turned in for us? Well, I think it's a much better thing. And first of all, we could not have this unless it was this it was a catch and, and release tournament because I guess eight years ago the DNR wisely because there's so many spawning fish out there said you cannot have a kill the fish tournament until May 1st and we were happy about that because I used to be out there measuring fish and first of all I got bloody hands and <laughs> this is much better so Joe Evans who I know you've uh, talked to uh, figured out that we can do this by bringing a picture in and it's so much better that we're not killing fish and uh, environmentally it, it's the right thing. The party has just as many people, people are having just as much fun and we're not killing fish. So it's a win-win-win-win. We had a chance to catch up with Joe Evans who's the chief judge of this whole tournament and his word is law. What trends have you seen over the past seven years since this has been uh, judged as a catch and release tournament? Well, the main thing is I think the uh, anglers have caught on to the whole catch and release thing. This used to be a kill tournament. And then DNR said no more killing tournaments until May. Dick, of course, wanted to have the tournament on opening day. So we worked together to come up with a photo judging program. First couple of years were a little bit rough. And there was some guys that just couldn't get wrapped around the whole idea that you didn't have to kill the fish. But I think we've changed sort of the culture a little bit and we have people we've never seen before that come out for this event and they, they've, they've got the hang of it. And uh, we've just caught up with Captain Keith Frazier of All Tackle, one of the sponsors of the tournament. And uh, he's here on Free Sport. And uh, we'll try and maybe get him on the radio here and find out uh, exactly what he's called and if he's winning this tournament. Oh, that's my fish. Look at that! Walk it back. Walk it all the way to the net, please. Yes! That's a oh, that is a pig! Oh, that is a pig! Oh, yeah. Oh, man. Well done. Woo! Happy birthday! 
Hey, Kate, Kate Cheney. Kate Cheney, birthday girl. Good job. Hey, Captain Keith, how's your day going so far? So you're still in with a chance? Come back. You're still in with a chance of winning this? Oh yeah, yeah. It's, this, this day's not over and there's plenty of big fish out here and it's, uh, they seem to like this boat. And what's your secret law for the day? Well, it's a bloody point bait and I can't really go further than that. Top secret, huh? Yeah, if I told you I'd have to kill you. And we wouldn't want that. No, I like you being alive. Roger. The fishing tournament wouldn't be possible without sponsors. And Charlie Ebersberger is the title sponsor for 15 years now. He's the owner of Anglers. What trends have you seen has happened in the past 15 years with this tournament? Uh, the trends have changed really from a uh, trolling aspect to a bait aspect. Uh, years ago, we thought you had to troll these fish, you had to cover large territories, but now we're finding you can anchor up and uh, catch the fish chumming or chunking. And uh, also, over, over the years we've seen, you know, it switched from a you know a kill tournament to a catch and release tournament. What impact do you think that has on the overall fishery in the bay? It helps the fishery because we're not killing fish. It has nothing to do with the tournament. The response is great. People like it. They love it. You take a picture. It's all fair. So you don't have to kill the fish. It works out perfectly. Good day of fishing. Release the fish. Come have a good party. And Ken Comerford, he is the owner of North Point's Yacht Sales. And he's one of our main sponsors too. Kenny, why are you here? And what, what got you into this? Because Weave, I knew you were going to interview me, me, and I think that's the coolest thing in the world. So there you go. We're all ready to go fishing tomorrow. Uh, we're here because this is like the uh, the epiphany of fun. And if we're going to have fun, being here at the Boatyard Bar and Grill is a great time. And and my kind of passion for fishing has uh, gotten really grown over the years. And recently, I, I've just really wanted to get out there and support the fishing industry and. It's been a good way to promote our Southport boats as well, so it's been fun. Uh, will, will you be fishing on a Southport tomorrow? Yeah, actually, we just picked up a, a boat at 26. It's going to be our family boat, so we're pretty excited about that. And uh, we'll be out there on our 26 with a couple, three, uh, I guess, total of four crew guys, so that's good. Well, the lines are out and all the fishing is over for the day. Now we're going to head down to the Franio cabin and catch up with some of the judges and see who's won this tournament. Here, watch out, guys. All right, angler. Uh, Bernie, you were the angler, Greg. Special thanks to Dick Franio and all the sponsors who make this tournament possible. And the tournament benefits the Coastal Conservation Association of Maryland, the Annapolis Police Department Youth Fishing Camp, and the Chesapeake Bay Foundation. Well, Paul, congratulations. You've just won the Boatyard Bar and Grill 15th Annual Catch and Release Tournament. Can you just tell me a couple of things that helped you win that tournament? Well, it's, it's the captain. The captain <laughs> does everything. I just happen to be standing by the rod. Perfect. And were there any tips like secret laws and special places? You can give them all to us now because it's over. Uh, yeah, but there's many more years of the boatyard to come. We don't want to give those tips away now. Uh, I'm sorry, what's your name again? Greg Bailing. Greg, okay, so, but, I mean, come on, give us a color. Give us a color. Green. Green, green. And then Mr. McAteer over here, what, did he have anything to do with it? Absolutely. It was a great day. <laughs> I can see there's a team of four of you, and I know exactly how much work that would have involved. But, um, so there's no more tips. I mean, future guys. Are I have a tip. Okay, here we go. Your name is? Robert. Robert Benzinger. I was driving the boat at the time. Visualization. Believing it's going to happen and really uh, seeing it go. through. And we believed it, and it happened for us. That's exactly what we want to hear. So next year, every just got to believe. Well, congratulations, guys. Thank Winners you. of 2016. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
thank you all for ever 15th year. Uh, thank you. And that wraps it up for 2016. And I'm Tom Weaver, and we'll see you next year. That's over 40. Now, my grandmother could be able to add in faster. She's been dead for 25 years. <laughs>